Hey everybody, Fisherman Juice here at the old park. A few minutes ago, I just pulled a 1916 wheat penny, and that was like a 1241 signal. This is a nice solid signal coming in at well, the iron numbers jumping around, but seems to stay right around 11, 12, 13. Conductivity around 44, 45, 43 occasionally. That tells me this might be something good. Four inches deep, that was about the same depth as that 16 wheat. Hey everybody, so it's Sunday and I'm out at a new spot here in the park. I just had to have a change of pace. And uh, I moved to this spot. I was kind of walking along, trying to different places. And got a 1245, 1246 signal two inches down, it was saying. And I thought there's no way it could be that easy. But I have to check it out and find out for myself. And sure enough, I see the back of a rosy as soon as I clear off the leaves. No digging here. Nineteen forty-eight. Uh, I made a mistake yesterday. I thought I had a nineteen forty-eight, and uh, it ended up being a nineteen forty-six. So, here's a real nineteen forty-eight. Cool. Hey everybody, here's the wrap up for today. I ended up with two dollars and forty-one cents in clad. I found an old centerfire casing or cartridge. A big chunk of lead that uh, somehow turned into a square. I'm not sure if it was an old bullet or a musket ball that was fired. Ended up with nine wheat pennies. And they ranged from dates from 1956 all the way down to 1910. I think, uh, I believe that's the 1910 right there. Got a couple that were 1919, and I think I had a 1913 in there. So I got some old wheat pennies. The find of the night, or the day, I guess. Uh, yesterday I thought I'd found a 1948 uh, Rosie, but I'd found a 1946. But today I got the 1948. And it is an S mint mark and those are my finds